everybody. We got the label. We're gonna go three, two, one, and then Merry Christmas and light the Christmas tree. Ready? Three, two. This is Edward reporting for Voice K, and to tonight I am here at the Toronto Christmas Market with Edmund and Stella, and we are about to do an interview with Matthew, Matthew Rosenblatt, who is the executive director of the fest of the event. Hi, I'm Stella reporting from Voice K, and today I'm here at the Toronto Christmas Market with Matthew Rosenblatt. Could you please spell your name to the camera? Sure, my name is Matthew, M-A-T-H-E-W, last name Rosenblatt, R-O-S-E-N-B-L-A-T-T. Thank you. Can I ask you some questions? I'd love you to. Okay, so how many years has this event taken place? Well, this is our sixth year, so we've been going on, had five years, this is number six. So what's new this year? That is a good question. Well, we've expanded the geographical footprint, meaning more space at the distillery. We have more light canopies, which are the lights that come over the, over the streets. We have something called snowmen of the world, which are snowmen sculptures that we placed all through the market. And we have a lot more sampling. So I'm not sure if you would care, but things like free hot chocolate, free chocolate samples, free candy samples, free fudge on certain days, lots of free stuff. That's cool. So, what would you say is your favorite part of this entire event? Well, some people think that it's the 320 acts on stage that I love, but that's not true. And some people think it's the Ferris wheel or the carousel, but that's not true. And some people think it's either Santa Claus or the shopping, but that's not true either. What I love about the Christmas market is that people come here and they rediscover the magic of Christmas and that they really feel connected to one another and they smile and they laugh and they just enjoy life at this time of year and that's what I love about the Christmas market. Thank you for answering my question. Hi, um, Hi. I'm Edward from Hi, Voice K. Um, may I please ask you a few questions? I'd love you to ask me some questions. Okay, thank you. So, um, first, I just wanted to tell you that the Christmas tree looks absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you so much. It takes a long time to put that Christmas tree together. Um, so, uh, is there like an age group that you kind of focused on this event? That's an excellent question, but you know what? We focus on all different age groups. Different things here are for different people. So for the kids, they love Santa Claus, they love the Ferris wheel, the merry-go-round. Some even like chocolate and hot chocolate. Uh, for the adults, they like the shopping. There's uh, lots of really romantic things for them, holding hands. Something different for everyone in the family. Yeah, that's great. Um, so. Um, so you talked about the shopping and the carousel and everything. Um, is there? A, what are the most? Would you say which are the most important, like um, fun or interesting? Well, I think thing? the most interesting thing that most people don't realize about the market is that when they come here, they somehow feel differently. It's the same city, but they they come down here and they. They smile a little bit more, and they say nice things to one another. Sometimes people hold hands when they don't usually hold hands. That's what I think is the most special and the most interesting about the Christmas market, that people are just good, and that's part of Christmas, too. Okay, that's, that's awesome. And also, um, has this event taken place anywhere else? Well, Christmas markets have been going on for 800 years. They started in Germany, and they're all over Europe. This was really the first big, big Christmas market in Canada, although there were other smaller ones. But now Christmas markets are growing, so you'll find them in the United States, in Vancouver, uh, now in Montreal, and they're spreading because people love them. So pretty much all over the world. They're all over the world now. Um, and so why, did, why is this event this year taking place here at the... Uh, the distillery distillery. Well, it happens every year at the distillery because the distillery is like a small little town. It reminds people of yesteryear with the, with this great sort of historic backdrop. 
The streets are small and people can walk around on them. So it happens here, here every year because this is the best place to have a Christmas market. Okay. Yes, I, that's very true. Um, thank you. Well, thank you. Time. You were amazing. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm Edward uh, from a children's magazine called Voice K. And what we do is we go to events, interview people like you, and we come back and write articles that get published into a magazine. Uh, so may I ask you a few questions? Sure. Um, have you done anything very? Uh, have you done anything so far here? Um, yeah, we looked all around. It's been really fun. Um, we saw all the singing. And it's just your favorite holiday. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so why? Um, because you get to meet with family. You get to sing Christmas carol. You get to have a big dinner, and yeah, it's really fun. Well, I like Christmas because. You get to see all of your family that you might not see very much, and it's a nice time to get together. Yeah. Um, I like Christmas because um, I like to spend time with my family. Okay, I agree. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Can I ask you some questions? Can I? Okay, you can ask. Okay, <laughs> so, wha so what do you like about this event? I love everything about this event, but what I love most is I think it makes people smile more and laugh more and hug more and sometimes even kiss more, and that's what I like. It makes people really, really feel good about one another and makes people feel good at this time of year. Okay, so why did you want to put the Christmas tree? Why did we want to bring a Christmas tree down here? Yeah. Well, uh, you can't really have Christmas without a Christmas tree. So we wanted to big, find the biggest and the fullest and the tallest Christmas tree we could. And then we wanted to put so many lights on it, we couldn't even count them. I think there's something like 18,000 lights on it and Christmas ornaments. And then when people come down here, we wanted them to look at that, that, that big Christmas tree and just say, What are what? all these beautiful little capsules these that you're selling? Matryoshkas. Matryoshkas comes from the word mother in Russian, mat. And it means family, which is why there's multiple dolls inside of each one. So it signifies a family as a whole, so a mother. It's an old art form of, uh, from Russia and Ukraine that's been going for about a thousand years. That's a long time. Yeah. So who makes this art? Where does this come from? Uh, it's artists in Ukraine. Uh, there's uh, schools that actually do particular designs like this, and then there's other ones which are more like this, which are more designed for sales in terms of North American culture. But this is the most traditional design there is in Ukraine. Okay, thank you. reporting from Voice K and here we are at the Toronto Christmas Market and we are interviewing Diana Carlos thank you I'm going to ask you some questions okay so why are you here uh, well Carlos this is his first winter in Canada so I thought this would be a good place to bring him to see Christmas spirit in Canada this is your first winter in Canada yeah, it's my first winter, so I wanted to see here this real district and feel the Christmas, no? It's coming soon. Where are you from? From uh, Barcelona, Spain. That's cool. So, what are you looking forward to? Um, just walking around, just seeing what's going on. I know there's some jazz music, maybe have some food here. That's cool. So, what do you think about this so far? I think it's very nice, so uh, it's a pretty place and also it's very uh, crowd, so we'll see. Uh. Okay, thank you. This concludes our visit to the Toronto Christmas Market and we would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Yes.